a special YouTube channel representation over a special subscriber milestone. A special YouTube channel milestone subscriber milestone representation. As one dare might say, it is worth the presentation. A special YouTube channel subscriber milestone representation. A special celebratory representation of subscriber presentations representing. Well, this is certainly quite a representation, I must say. It is with real excitement as I shall implement this recent representation right now. In recent days, the enchanted YouTuber, having, I think he has done videos on and off, but he's not done any videos since around about 2021, something like that. But it's all right, I can understand why, certainly understand why. This YouTuber I'm referring to is Ian Postlethwaite. Ian Postlethwaite, like myself and David Scott, my best friend, likewise, he very much likes um, vintage um, fairground organs. Vintage heritage fairground organs is what I'm referring to. And uh, his YouTube channel recently hit the 70, subs 70 subscribers. Well, now he's got 71 subscribers now. And I believe he's going to get many more subscribers in the future, hopefully. Fingers, 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 hopefully I'm right. He'll receive a larger gain in subscribers. So it's very, very special. Well done to Ian himself. And sometimes Ian comments on some of my videos from time to time. But it's namely whenever I'm attending the vintage the vintage rally events, just to say. It's not, he wouldn't comment on, say, a classic car rally video of mine, or or a, a rail chain spotting video of mine, or Hoof Park miniature railway videos and all that. He wouldn't comment on those kinds of videos. He would generally only comment if I took a video of, say, a... Uh, vintage fairground organs and all that, just to let you know. But it's all right, I could understand why. But all the same, all in all, I do very, very much appreciate whatever comments I receive from Ian. You know, he's, he's extremely friendly, and he's English like a British English, like I am and David is. And... Uh, one of these days, I am really hoping to meet up with Ian one day. Ho I'm really hoping that he would one day go down to Tinker's Park or Broil Vintage Rally, Herringley Festival of Transport or not, or not, one of these days, you know. Am I missing anything? Oh yes, and hopefully Pardon Park one day. I would love to see him at either five of those events one day, you know. And also, like myself, not only do we like vintage fairground organs, we both are avid cat lovers, like myself is. My best friend David Scott is an avid cat lover as well, having seen the numerous comments he's posted on the Daphne and Nixie videos over the last nearly two years now, on and off. Um, and... Uh, where on earth was I? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes, and Ian has cats of his own, as do I. I think he has a few more cats than I do. I've only just got the two, being Daphne and Nixie, as we all know it, respectively. And I think Ian also has a, a little dog as well. And I like dogs. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like dogs. I personally like dogs too. But I'm, but I'm more of a cat person than a dog person, really. But everybody is different, all in all. But Ian is a dog and a cat person, as well as a, a vintage fairground organ person, as am I. I always liked all things vintage. If you are watching, Ian, if you wanted to know how my interest got so deeply involved with um, vintage heritage fairground organs and all that was because 
for quite a long time in my life, from a reasonably young age, when I was around about 15, 16, something like that, I became interested in vintage and heritage things. Well, I had been. I think, no, I think I was a bit younger than 15. Maybe I was a little boy, something like that. I became interested in vintage heritage things and all that. And, you know, and I was never really... It depended on what modern day things one could be referring to. But uh, I didn't always like dressing up modern day and all that, you know. Not completely, really, no. Where modern day people generally wear t-shirts and hoodies, no, no offence, but not all. But uh, I quite liked old old-fashioned things from a reasonably young age. And I like, you know, old-fashioned trains, old-fashioned bus buses, and any th some old-fashioned objects and all that. And when I was about, um, uh, about 17, I went to the, with my, with my family, we went to the, uh, and a few friends, of course, we all together went to the Fell, Fell Vintage event. And that was a resounding, and that was a wonderful thing. And also, when I first encountered David, by that point I already liked all things vintage and heritage, but I didn't know very, very much about vintage um, rally events and all that. It was only until I encountered David, David Scott, who I'm referring to, to you right now, if you are watching Ian and listening and all that, as well as quite possibly the cats and the dog as well. Um, it was only until I met David Scott, my best friend, that I became so deeply involved and incredibly interested in vintage fairground organs and all that, what have you, and the musical sounds from vintage fairground organs and all the rest of it. And my interest became so deep and so... I really did just... I was throwing in, throwing at it, I really did enthrall my lasting interest into those kinds of things to the point where where I could just go to these events every year now. It's really special thanks to David who got me into, who really broadened my interest in vintage heritage things. Even though I liked them before I encountered David, he really brought, helped broaden my interest in them to the point of attending vintage, ra vintage rally events and all that. And oh my goodness, I just fell in love with these vintage rally events, Ian, honestly. I would go every year, I really would, and that's what I intend to do whenever I can. And I am really hoping one of these days we will meet, Ian, because you're always extremely friendly and kind to me whenever I'm hearing from you, whether it's on a vintage rally video or a vintage organ video playing musical notes and all that, fairground organ musical notes, all the rest of it. I am really certainly hoping we will meet one day. Really, I do hope we can meet one day, Ian, because you're a good friend. You're a good friend, and some good friends these days are hard to get by or find. But no offence. I've got many, I've got loads of wonderful good friends. I really do, but I was just only meant to make a point when I was saying that. So Ian and myself do have the same like and interest on all things vintage, especially if one was to look at Ian's YouTube channel. And um, as well as the friendly comments I've received from him on and off, we've never met. But we hopefully we will meet one day. But yes, all in all, the representation point really is Ian's YouTube channel had a good subscription milestone to the point where he's got over 70 subscribers and I'm certainly hoping next and I'm definitely I certainly do believe he will his um his popularity on his channel will just continue to grow and grow and grow I certainly believe so in the future years to come almost certainly yes but uh well thanks everybody indeed for watching this um this representation, latest representation, 
Special congratulations, Ian, and well done on your subscriber milestone. Please, please, please do subscribe to Ian's channel, channeled contents, everybody. The link, the link to his channel will be found in the description below. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I shall certainly see you in the very next video. Ta-ta, another time. From Foxy. Well done, Ian, on your special subscriber milestone. And utter thanks for being a good friend, as is my best friend David, who is an equally good friend as well. Many happy returns, and well done on your mountainous milestone. Oh... Uh.